Sleeping sickness, or human African trypanosomiasis, is a neglected tropical disease despite it being endemic in 36 African countries. Pharmaceutical company Sanofi is striving to improve access to healthcare for all. Together with its partner DNDI, Sanofi is committed to develop, manufacture and distribute a treatment to support international efforts to eliminate sleeping sickness. We sent Sue Saville to the headquarters of Sanofi, the World Health Organization and DNDI to find out a significant development for those affected by the potentially fatal sleeping sickness. More than one billion people are affected by tropical diseases that are considered neglected. Some 20 conditions that devastate the lives of people living in remote areas with limited health resources. Addressing these diseases is part of the mission of Zenofi, based in Paris. A commitment to empower the lives of some of the most vulnerable people in the world through research and clinical development. As a global healthcare company, we are aware that about 90% of the global disease burden is actually occurring in the low and low middle income countries. But by contrast, only about 10% of the resources on healthcare are spent in those countries. The Sanofi Global Health Department is really focused on the most vulnerable populations and we target specific disease areas where we feel we provide an expertise. We feel a public health responsibility and can have a real impact on populations by providing care, by providing medicines and by providing resources in those areas. Sanofi has contributed to impacting on human African trypanosomiasis or sleeping sickness which threatens the lives of 65 million people in sub-Saharan Africa. They've helped develop the first oral treatment, simplifying access to life-saving care. Sleeping sickness starts with a bite from the tsetse fly, introducing a parasite into the body. People have had to travel often long distances to hospital for intravenous therapy. But now a simple pill will bring treatment closer to the patient. After evaluation by the European Medicines Agency and market authorization in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the 10-day oral treatment is set to make a difference. It will be a single treatment for both stages of the disease and there will be no need of a systematic lumbar puncture for staging the, uh, the patients because once diagnosed you can directly give the same treatment to all patients. It simplifies the burden of uh, logistics and management. In many cases uh, hospitalization can be avoided. They reduce the uh, financial burden for the family. Creating such a game-changing treatment has relied on partnerships between Zenofi and the World Health Organization, as well as with the Drugs for Neglected Diseases initiative. The NDI was responsible for the uh, discovery work, the research work, the clinical development work. And then Sanofi will do everything that we do not do, which is to take full responsibility for manufacturing and distributing which is a long-term commitment. We each have our competencies, we each have our risks, and uh, the way we work is that we de-risk for each of the organisations. This is how we build the partnerships, very pragmatically, but also result-oriented. Uh, it's here at the headquarters of the World Health Organization in Geneva that a huge international effort has been coordinated in the last decade to dramatically cut the incidence of sleeping sickness. Setting a target to eliminate it as a public health problem by 2020 and to prevent any new cases by 2030. Cases of sleeping sickness have fallen by 97% since these partnerships were set up. Very few diseases ever reach this point of near elimination. As sleeping sickness is fatal if not treated, this remarkable achievement has the potential to save thousands of lives. Since 2001, when we started this partnership with Sanofi, more than 40 million people have been screened for the disease. And with these people, we have uh, detected more than 200,000 cases of the disease. All these 200,000 people, they have been treated. If they would have not treated, 
uh, all these people, they will have died. So we can say that more than 200,000 people have been saved with this partnership. This new chemical entity approved for HAT is a step forward in improving the management of sleeping sickness, aligned with the objective of WHO's roadmap for NTDs. Thank you.